Shovers. Shovers. Step on it. Step on it. Step on it. Here we go. We're going on a smaller trip. We got it. Shovers. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Watch your toes. Here at Church Elementary, we have a great connection to our culture, and some of that includes stories like Shaylu, and she's our corn mother. And so I really wanted to take the opportunity to grow with that and teach more to the children. And I found the Farm to Preschool program and knew that was the project for us. Now we are making raised beds and collaborating with some of the high school kids in the ag program there and giving these children the opportunity to be able to grow their own food and, and see that process from start to finish. We've talked about seeds in class, we grew our own plant, we grew llama beans, and so we've done some things, but to take that and put it in real life context for a real life hands-on experience and see how they made that connection that we're growing our own food, this is going to be corn that I can eat and squash, that was really fun to watch them make that connection this morning. And then you come back in the classroom and they're talking about it and they're sharing with their families and then they go home and they're excited and they're telling their families and then their families are invested in it. And it's just a whole experience for our class, for each of these children that may have never had an experience like that. And the family involvement is a huge piece because so many kids, they're going home excited about something different and the families are taking notice of that. The Cherokee culture and our people, our stories, our legends, the traditions, it's just full of life and the and our young children here at Cherokee, they really respond to that. Um, so many stories and, and ways are getting lost and so being able to provide that as part of our pre-K program has been really special. Our Cherokee people from the very beginning, they were all they were also in agriculture. Some of our origin stories include Shalu and Kanadi and that's the corn mother and our and our great hunter. So we have great origin legends that are based in agriculture. The Cherokee language, we only have around 200 fluent speakers left. And every morning we start out with our morning song. At the beginning of the year, I had to lead those. But now I have children that are able to lead those songs and help their, help their peers. At the beginning of the year, it was super overwhelming with some of the behavior issues we were having. And getting outside, it's like all of a sudden you can breathe again. And the sun's shining, and the kids are playing, and all of a sudden it's not so bad. And then that translates into the classroom because they want to talk about what happened. And the kid that has anxiety is starting to talk. And for the last two months that we've been working toward this, it's been worth every second. And the kids the anticipation of growing a garden and growing their own food. They have waited for this day and we've counted down and we knew it was coming. And so it just creates a level of excitement and it creates a community feeling in your classroom because they're all invested in the same project. Everybody's looking out for one another, riding the wagon together. I mean, they just have a great time. We have a good time laughing and chasing each other. And so there's just, after two years of being quarantined, they're, they're growing. They've just grown leaps and bounds from never being or knowing anybody to making friends and wanting to go home with each other and do things together outside of school. So it's, it just translates across the board from school to home to the community, and it's just been a great experience. Now you can spread it out, girls.